I cannot leave this game alone for one second. I'm talking about a few days without all hell breaking loose. I'm over here chilling, playing some My Hero, doing my thing. And next thing I know is Grand Summoners is shutting down. Let me just say, it's not actually shutting down. I'm pretty sure I titled a video like that. And I mean, hey, technically I'm not wrong. The game is to an extent shutting down in certain parts of China, which I don't actually know exactly what this is for, but the global version of the game is shutting down in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau. I think that's how you say that last one. I could be wrong. Which is weird because I thought the global version of GS wouldn't even be in Hong Kong. Usually Chinese versions for games have like their own specific versions because they have to cater to the laws of China. A lot of different laws over there, of course, especially when it comes to monetization or it comes to gaming. If I'm not mistaken, wasn't it back in like 2012 or 2013? when China just started allowing consoles to be back in their country because they banned them for a long time. But in terms of why this happened exactly, I actually decided to do some digging and the only thing I could find was a few articles talking about how apparently there was a mobile game market update making it to where regulations were stricter and also to make it anti-addiction because of course everybody knows video games are just gaming or pretty much anything that is considered fun is of course addicting and i'm assuming that's what happened of course this is an article that i found on pocketgamer.biz i have no idea if this is even like credible or you know if the source is actually true at all because this thing says it's from a guest arthur like do you see this picture i don't really know if i can trust this completely and also it seems that there's a lot more places that are reporting on stricter regulations and restrictions so i guess that's the reason i guess gs couldn't find a way to comply to this or gs did its common thing where they just was like that's a little bit too much work and we're just going back out i also feel like gs probably isn't too big in china in terms of popularity or revenue or anything like that because this is news to me i had no idea that we even had a chinese version or not even a chinese version but the global version was also part of the chinese version it is wild because i'm pretty sure in the global version of the game there is some stuff like certain packs and everything that are against the law in certain other parts of the world that are not just you know us europe stuff like that but with this happening, it's made me really be like, huh, I wonder if they're breaking any more rules or laws or regulations for something else, especially if every single version of GS is technically the same in terms of the monetization and all that. Of course, the monetization is nowhere near as crazy or as bad as it is in something like My Hero Academia, The Strongest Hero, and I actually really enjoy playing that game. I will not lie to you and tell you that monetization they did for the global version, my god, dude, that thing is riddled riddled with packs and just trying to really push that hey man you know who spent some money look dude i like your game but chill out now so what does this mean for the rest of the global community do we need to fear anything do we need to think about the game dying anytime soon absolutely everybody start panicking going ahead start writing your obituaries because ladies and gentlemen we all go into the grave every single one of our accounts gone i wouldn't be surprised the global team decided to nuke the servers literally tomorrow without any warning and it would be literally the recreation of frieza when he blew up planet vegeta except in gotcha game terms what a historical moment that would be and i would be there to witness it but in all seriousness no no you don't really have to worry about anything like i've already mentioned this was more than likely due to certain laws and certain regulations that happened in china and global gs just couldn't meet the terms or whatever the case may be and just decided to pull out this is actually a very similar case to what happened to a lot of different mobile games whenever belgium actually implemented their gotcha gaming laws or more so i think it was the gambling laws in a lot of different games where they banned loot boxes and stuff like that a lot of games could either try to meet ends and of course it could actually abide by their laws or a game would be like, well, we don't want to do that. We don't want to abide by those laws. So we're pulling the service. We're pulling the plug. Boom. It's gone. Which nine times out of 10, I'm going to be honest for game developers. It's a lot cheaper for them to do something like that. I mean, yeah, they do lose the revenue in that region, but you have to think about it like this. They lose like a little bit of revenue. Let's of course say it's not like their main source of revenue and they have a market across the entire globe. They pull that plug, they lose a little bit of revenue, but in the end, they don't really have to use any resources or manpower to of course try to make that stuff work. But that's just my two cents on it. And I mean, hey, at the end of the day, money makes the world go around. That's really all that matters to a lot of these business heads. After all, we're just all ruled by our bald overlords, but we just don't know it yet. Talking about bald, here's a picture of Emil. You, if you've never seen this guy, 
you need to play near. It's a fantastic game. So what are my thoughts on all this? It is what it is. It sucks to anybody playing in those regions, of course, and you guys actually like were, you know, really invest in your account or anything like that. But I feel like that's such a small percentage of the player base, if any of the player base, to be honest. That's unfortunate that it happened. I think this led people to think that the game was actually dying even more, shutting down because I stopped posting the game. I didn't stop posting the game. I literally like just went to post My Hero Academia because I was having fun on that game. You do something different on YouTube. Or do something different on any type of social media platform. People think you quit the other thing. Like motherfuckers ain't human. You think you can do the same thing every single day? You might be able to do that for a little bit, but trust me, at some point you're going to get bored. And that's why I went to go post My Hero because I was playing the game and I didn't really feel like playing GS. Same thing I did whenever I posted Illusion Connect for like those two or three videos. And same thing I did whenever I posted Last Claudia. And I posted that one video Dokkan. You guys get the point. So that's pretty much it. Thank you all for coming out, man. You guys ain't shutting down. You guys can calm down. The game's doing fine, I think. Maybe. I'm not for sure. So, for right now, you guys don't have to worry about anything. Not to be, like, a Debbie Downer and to make stuff depressing. Just know everything will have to come to an end at some point, including GS, including the world, you, everybody. This video's really taken a dark turn. Yeah, man. Just don't worry about it. Have your fun. Play the game. And don't worry about it. But that's gonna be it for this one, man. Thank you all for coming out. This video should be up tomorrow, which is actually Thursday. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing for Friday or Saturday, but I'll think of something. So yeah, thank you all for coming out, man. It's been your bro P. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more. And last but not least, man, you guys already know, don't forget to drink water.